Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the IEEE Communications Society Awards Ceremony. As we open our program today, we are pleased to introduce our awards chair, Andy Molish, and IEEE Comsoc President, Vijay Bargava. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our semi-annual awards ceremony. Recognizing the outstanding achievements of our members is one of the important tasks of Comsoc and the awards committee, which I have the honor to chair, is tasked in selecting achievements and people that we want to especially recognize. While in the spring we select the best paper awards, the fall season is dedicated to career and service awards. We received a considerable number of excellent nominations and it was not easy to select among a number of truly excellent candidates. I would like at this point to thank the members of the committee who dedicated a lot of time and great care to the selection of the winners. Let me briefly describe the process through which we arrived at our decision. The nominations were read over a period of four weeks by all the members of the committee, after which we had a preliminary vote and ranking. Following this, a 10-day discussion period started, at the end of which the final votes took place. Each committee member again ranked all the candidates through a point system from which the winner was computed. I would like to thank the Comsoc staff for the development of our new web interface and the wonderful support they have provided throughout the process. I hope you will enjoy the ceremony and share the joy of our awardees. As we uh, begin our uh, ceremonies today, the Communication Society takes great pleasure in uh, recognizing our gold corporate patron, Samsung. Uh, please uh, welcome Dr. Kyung Hung Chun, Senior Vice President, Samsung Electronic DMC Research and Development Center to the podium. So I'm very, very honored uh, to take this prize. Uh, Samsung is the uh, number one terminal provider. I uh, would like to make more contributions to IEEE, not only through patronage, but through uh, more deeper, deeper involvement in, uh, through technical uh, contributions in the future. Thank you. Election to the grade of IEEE Fellow is one of the highest honors that can be bestowed upon our members by the Institute in recognition of their technical, educational, and leadership achievements. It is an honor that most of our Comsoc members with successful careers desire to attain, but only a select few IEEE members can earn this prestigious honor. Recognizing the uh, achievement of the members is an important part of the mission of the IEEE. Since 1963, IEEE has acknowledged those individuals who have contributed importantly to the achievement of application of engineering, science, and technology for the benefit of humanity and the profession. The grade of IEEE Fellow recognizes unusual distinction in the profession and is confirmed by the IEEE Board of Directors upon a person with an outstanding record of accomplishment in any of the IEEE field of interest. After a rigorous evaluation process performed each year by the IEEE Fellow Committee, a slate of nominee is proposed to the IEEE Board of Directors for approval. The number of successful nominees in any year must not exceed one-tenth of the IEEE voting membership on the record as of December 31st of the preceding year. New IEEE fellows receive a certificate and pin, and these awards are sent to each recipient approximately one month after notification of their elevation to the highest grade of IEEE membership. It is with great pleasure that I introduce you Jeffrey Andrews, who was named 2013 fellow for contribution to cellular and ad hoc wireless cellular networks. Thank you. 
IEEE Communication Society Prize Paper Awards. Award ceremonies also honor the achievements of authors whose articles appear in Comsoc publications. Our major prize paper awards recognize writers of outstanding original papers published in Comsoc journals and magazines that essentially enlarge the field of communications engineering. Ultimately, they discover, extend, or complement technological advancements in education, industry, research, and service. The Communication Society Best Tutorial Paper Award. For an outstanding tutorial paper published in any Communication Society magazine or journal in the previous five calendar years. IEEE Communication Society Career and Service Awards. Comsoc Award Ceremonies honor the achievements of IEEE Communication Society members. The Society's Career and Service Awards pay tribute to technical professionals whose exceptional achievements and outstanding contributions have made lasting impact on technology, society, the engineering profession, and humanity. IEEE Communication Society Edwin Howard Armstrong Achievement. This award recognizes individuals for their outstanding contributions over a period of years in the field of interest of the society. This award is named in honor of Edwin H. Armstrong, inventor and father of the complete FM radio system. His inventions and development form the backbone of radio communications as we know it. It is my great pleasure to announce the winner of this year's Edwin Howard Armstrong Achievement Award, John M. Choffey. John Choffey is Chair and CEO of ASIA Incorporated, a California-based company pioneering dynamic broadband co connection management software. He is the Hitachi Professor Emeritus at Stanford University. Choffey designed the world's first ADSL and VDSL modems, and today this design accounts for roughly 90% of the world's 400 million plus DSL connections. Choffey currently serves on the board of directors of Alta Beam and the Marconi Foundation and has previously served the boards of eight other public and private companies. John Choffey's citation reads, for profound and broad contributions to the theory, practice and commercial development of high-speed digital communication systems. Let us welcome John Choffey to the podium. Well, th thank you very much uh, for, for this. I had the opportunity uh, in preparing here to actually read a little bit more about Mr. Armstrong, who had uh, quite an incredible career um, that was uh, uh, many, uh, the most interesting part was he was an entrepreneur and went through a number of different battles and so forth in technology and any of, any of us who's tried to move new ideas will certainly resonate with that. So it's very nice to, to have the opportunity to receive this award today. I'd like to thank uh, all of my uh, former and, uh, uh, and present students, uh, many, most of whom have graduated at this point. Um, uh, they wouldn't be here without them, as well as the people at ASIA, including uh, Stefano, who has, a, has an award a little bit later today. In, in a way of saying thanks to you, I have a kind of, a, I hope this is not too commercial, but from 12 to 3, my company has a new app that will be available next week um, on iTunes Store. Uh, but for all of you here today, it's open between 12 and 3 today. If you go to cloudcheck.net with your mobile browser, you... Uh, into your email there. You get it for free. Uh, I'd love to get your, uh, your feedback on it. It's a new concept in diagnosing uh, your broadband connectivity, uh, where are issues and problems, and your thoughts on it would be very appreciated. 
And again, thanks. Uh, it's my way of saying thanks to uh, everyone here. IEEE Communication Society Award for Public Service in the Field of Telecommunications. This award recognizes individuals who have made major contributions to the public welfare through their work in the field of telecommunications. Recipients have played major roles establishing public policy in both the legislative and executive branches of government and in the standards arena. Today, we have the distinct honor of recognizing Michael J. Marcus as recipient of Comstock Awards for public service in the field of telecommunications. During his years at the Federal Communications Commission, Dr. Marcus proposed and developed policies for cutting edge radio technology, such as red spectrum, CDMA, and millimeter waves. Wi-Fi is one, of, uh, one outcome of his early leadership. Dr. Marcus is recognized as an IEEE Fellow for his leadership in the development of spectrum management policies. He also received IEEE USA's first Electro Technology Transfer Award for his pioneering work in the conception, drafting, and enactment of the federal regulations that legalize a commercial spread spectrum radio. The rules governing unlicensed devices, thus spawning a multi-million dollar worldwide wireless industry. Michael Marcus' citation reads, for pioneering spectrum policy initiatives, it created modern unlicensed spectrum bands for applications that have changed our world. Let us welcome Michael Marcus to the podium. I would like to thank Comsoc for this great honor. I would also like to acknowledge the support of my wife, Gail, and my many colleagues at FCC during the time when we worked together to create the framework for today's ubiquitous unlicensed spectrum. While unlicensed spectrum existed in the U.S. since the 1930s, Specific restrictions on each use prevented much innovation. While U.S. politicians agree little in today's partisan atmosphere, these new bipartisan unlicensed policies were created, were started in the Carter administration and completed in the Reagan administration, both of which aimed to stimulate economic growth with such policies. While we did not anticipate the ubiquity of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Zigbee, we were confident that freeing new products from lengthy case-by-case -case policy deliberations were spur innovations, it did so beyond our wildest dreams. I note that my Canadian friend Vina Rowat got this award last year. Vina has been called the mother of Canadian spread spectrum for actions that paralleled mine in the 1980s. I hope this shows the importance of national spectrum policies of the Comsoc community and the importance of people working in both the technical and policy environments to get our innovative wireless technologies out of the pages of IEEE journals and into the real world where they help both real people and the economy. Even if you don't make spectrum policy the focus of your career, it is important to have EEs in the wireless area understand the issues and how to participate in national and international liberations. For Comsoc members who have been successful in industry and active in U.S. politics, I urge you to seek appointments to the FCC as a commissioner, as there had never been a commissioner at FCC with a Silicon Valley-like background and there hasn't even been one with a technical background for several decades. I would also urge senior engineers to express interest in technical policy positions at FCC. Spectrum policy is too important to be left entirely to politicians and lawyers. Finally, I'd like to urge educators to consider some content on spectrum policy issues in their wireless curriculum and would be glad to help those interested. I will continue to use my regular column in IEEE Wireless Communications Magazine to share information on spectrum policy issues with the IEEE community and to stimulate discussion. Thanks again to Comsoc for this award. IEEE Communications Society Industrial Innovation Award. This award recognizes industry employees for major industrial accomplishments, standards, and deployment of important processes and products that have substantially benefited the public in the field of communications and information technologies. Their accomplishments are substantial and visible, reaching beyond the company or institution where the contribution was made. We are proud to honor one of our members, Rajiv Laroya, 
who has contributed enormously in the industry arena, benefiting the public via communications and information technologies. Unfortunately, a prior commitment prevents his uh, being uh, with us today to be recognized personally. Rajiv's citation reads, for innovations to orthogonal frequency division multiple access cellular wireless data communication systems. IEEE Communication Society Donald W. McClellan Meritorious Service Award. This award recognizes individuals for their long-term outstanding service to the welfare of the communication society. The award was first presented in 1976 and renamed the Donald W. McClellan Meritorious Service Award in 1978 in honor of this man who was perceived a model for providing personal service to the IEEE and to the profession. Today, we are both delighted and honored to recognize a most notable member of the society, Byung Ji Lee, as the 2013 recipient of the Donald W. McClellan Meritorious Service Award. Byung is known to all of us uh, as our Comsoc past president, a true statesman earning the trust and respect of Comsoc, the IEEE and colleagues around the globe. His quiet but firm leadership, embracing diverse perspectives and culture, is an example for future global leaders. In addition to his extensive work with the IEEE and Communication Society, Dr. Lee served the Korean government on various presidential advisory committees and councils. Byung Ji Lee's citation reads, for promotion of global culture and values in IEEE Communication Society activities and governance. Please let us welcome Byung Ji Lee to the podium. It has been very challenging but very rewarding uh, to serve for communication society uh, throughout uh, my career years. My time and effort has been rewarded with uh, newly created values and uh, new friends and colleagues. I happened to serve as the president of Comsoc right after the global economic downturn of 2008, which incurred a large deficit to Comsoc in 2009. Thanks to I call legendary leadership team we had that time, we were able to recover uh, the financial stability uh, in the surplus uh, in two straight years and promoted uh, Comsoc membership over 50,000. We had uh, good accomplishments in Comsoc in those two years, but that was made possible all thanks to what I said, legendary legendary leadership team, which includes uh, Mark Carroll for technical activities. Ma Mark Carroll is not here. And the Len Chimini for uh, publications. I see Len Chimini somewhere. And uh, Khaled Litayev for uh, conferences. And uh, uh, the Sergio Benedetto for member relations. And we also had hardworking directors and committee chairs and positively supporting members at large and creatively working staff. I myself did not do much other than um, introducing a Comsac's golden triangle vision in the beginning and securing um, constructive environment for our legendary uh, leadership team to work together in harmony and with pleasure. I would like to take this opportunity to thank to those legendary team members and especially for those four, uh, four great uh, vice presidents. And uh, I receive this award on their behalf. Thank you.
IEEE Communication Society Harold Sobel Award for Exemplary Service to Meetings and Conferences. This award recognizes society members who have demonstrated exemplary service to Comsox meetings and conferences over sustained periods of time, making significant contributions, including in strategic planning and financial successes. This award honors a pioneer in the communications industry, Harold Sobel, for his service to Comsoc and its conferences program, which was especially noteworthy. It is always a privilege to honor those contact members who have long been dedicated to serving the communication society. And this afternoon, we have the opportunity to recognize Gerhard Fettweis for his extensive service by awarding him the Comsoc Harold Sobel Award for exemplary service uh, for meetings and conferences. Gerhard is a member of the steering committee that launched Comsoc's first virtual conference, IEEE Online GreenCom. Gerhard was chair of the IMS technical program chair of IEEE ICC 2009 in Dresden, and has organized many other events. He's a frequent keynote speaker at Comsoc conferences. Gerhard's citation reads, for outstanding contributions to IEEE communications conference and meetings organization, both through internationally leading research contributions and through exemplary organization and oversight of major conferences and events. Let us welcome Gerhard Fettweis to the podium. Hello, everybody. This is my normal statement, right? Well, I'm deeply honored uh, to get this award, especially understanding that Harold Sobel is really a person that made conferences happen and changed the society as a whole. Because what makes our communities is journals and conferences. And conferences being the place where we meet mingle with the crowd, as I say, and also make sure that we can get to know people and build our career. So for me, being active in conferences just means to serve the crowd, to serve everybody, be a catalyst to move on. Now, I also want to mention that organizing a conference is always a team effort, so I understand that uh, this award is also recognizing my whole team of the different conferences that I did, the different teams, and I really want to thank every single person of the team to make these kind of conferences happening. And we see a great conference going on right here, right now. With this, thanks a lot, and hope to see you many more times at IEEE conferences. IEEE Communication Society Joseph Le Cicero Award for Exemplary Service to Publications. This award recognizes society members for their involvement with one or more society publications, journals, magazines, print or electronic, over sustained periods of time. Recipients are recognized for their notable contributions in areas such as editing and publishing and for facilitating the realization quality, scope, and visibility of a publication or publications. The award was first presented in 1998 and later renamed in memory of Joseph L. Le Cicero, Comsoc's Director of Journals, who was one of the most active and productive volunteers of our society. Following in the footsteps of his predecessor, Dr. Le Cicero, we're truly honored to recognize David Doubt for his years and years of involvement in Comsoc publications in particular the IEEE Transactions and Communications. At Rutgers University, David served as Director of the EC Graduate Program, Director of the Engineering Computer Center, and Chair of the EC Department. David's teaching and research activities are in the areas of communication and information systems. David Doubt's uh, uh, citation reads, for outstanding service and dedication to the IEEE Communication Society as Publications Editor for IEEE Transactions and Communications. Please welcome David Dowd as this year's recipient of Comsox's Joseph Losis Award for next year. Good afternoon. At the outset, I'd like to thank my nominator. I'd like to thank the Comsox Awards Committee for this much appreciated recognition.
As many of you know, the Transactions and Communications is an important vehicle for technology transfer in the area of communication systems, services, and theory. The Transactions and Communications regularly reports on rapidly evolving and ever-expanding set of society at large relevant technical topics. Although the mission and scope of the Transactions has remained steadfast over my time as publications editor, the publishing landscape has in fact changed significantly. Most notably, we've transitioned from the late 80s from an all paper-oriented submission process through snail mail from around the world to the current day 24-7 high-speed email entrance to the electronic format that we use, which is precursor to explore. My service task within Comstock has been very rewarding to me on both professional and personal levels. To name some notable comments that re relate to that, I have interacted with leading researchers in our field. I have been aware of hot and emerging topics well in advance of their presence at the end of the publication's pipeline. I've also had the opportunity to work closely with many editors and chiefs over the years who are in fact among the most distinguished and accomplished people in our society today. This award is named in honor of Joseph Le Cicero, who had served as publications editor in the 1976 to 1988 time frame. Joe was an outstanding person. For many of you that know him personally, he was a, one that had exhibited the highest professional standards. He is also one that had enormous personal contact with all of his colleagues. Following him as publication editor was easy and yet challenging. He had handed off to me a well-organized process but yet the rapid expansion of technical publication requirements in the areas of networks and spread spectrum at the time really put a management task of great proportion before us. In fact, to testament to his leadership, when he was EIC, he and I partnered to do print off 94 and 95 and basically published 2,000 camera ready copy pages within the transactions in two special volumes. That significantly reduced a serious backlog and put the transactions on communications back on a timely footing for our researchers to take best advantage of it as a vehicle for their publication. For the mass, past many years, my internal clock has really been driven by the monthly deadlines of the publication process, trying to get entire issues of transactions and communications out in a timely way. So what do I do now? I guess I have to resynchronize, and to do so, I'm going to spend my time and effort at the IEEE Institute level as a member of the Periodicals Review and Advisory Committee, making good use of the experience I've gained as publications editor of the Transactions on Communications. With all this experience and with all this camaraderie and colleagues' relationships I've developed over the years, I'm much appreciative of receiving this award and look forward to serving again in the future in many other capacities. Thank you for this award. IEEE Awards. At this time, it is my pleasure to welcome to the stage a former Comsoc president and our current IEEE president-elect, Roberto De Marca. Dr. De Marca has the distinct privilege to present the IEEE Technical Field Awards. Good afternoon, my Comsoc colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great honor and privilege to be here today to represent that we board of directors in the presentation of two IEEE Technical Field Awards, the IEEE Eric E. Sumner Award and the IEEE Donald G. Fink Award. The IEEE Sumner Award recognizes outstanding contributions to communications technology. Today, we are honoring three co-recipients of this year's award, Siavash Alamuti, Group Research and Development Director at Vodafone in London, Hamid Jafarhani, Chancellor's Professor with the University of California, and Vahid Tarok, Professor with the School of Engineering and Applied Science at Harvard University. They are being honored for contributions to block signaling for multiple antennas. The collective work of these colleagues has helped the wireless communications industry with improved quality of service and increased network capacity, and has been a key enabler for fourth generation systems. The TRIO's research 
has greatly influenced the standardization, commercialization, and advancement of space-type processing in MIMO technology. Mr. Alamuti created the first space-time block code for two transmit antennas in 1997, called, as most of you know, the Alamut Code. Dr. Tarouk later generalized the code and together with Dr. Jafahani and Rob Calderbank published two papers in 1999 spurring major research efforts. Dr. Jafahani extended the performance of space-time codes by introducing the quasi-orthogonal space-time block code in 2001. One of the nomination endorsers wrote, I equate the impact of their fundamental contributions in the design and development of space-time codes from MIMO systems to the impact that other notable inventions and developments, namely the Viterbi algorithm, trellis code remodulation, and turbo codes have had in telecommunications technology. Mr. Alamutz and Dr. Rowe could not be here today to accept their award. At this time, it's my pleasure to welcome Hamid Jafahani, co-recipient of the 2013 IEEE Eric Isamner Award. Please, Hamid. Hi everybody, um, I would like to thank IEEE for this uh, prestigious award. I'm honored to accept it. Thank you. So Hamid has helped us keep up the schedule. <laughs> now we proceed with the IEEE Donald G. Fink Award, recognizing the most outstanding survey review or tutorial paper published in the IEEE transactions, journals, magazines, or in the proceedings of the IEEE. Today, we are honoring three co-recipients of this year's award. IEEE Fellow Stefano Galli, Director of Technology Strategy for, with ASIA, incorporated in Redwood City, California. IEEE Fellow Anna Scaglione, Professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of California, Davis. And IEEE Senior Member, Wang Jifang, Assistant Professor with the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at Virginia Commonwealth University, who are being recognized for the paper titled For the Grid and Through the Grid, the Role of Power Line Communication in Smart Grid. Together, they author what's considered the most complete review of power line communications technology published to date, detailing its usage in development of smart grids. The paper, which appeared in the June 2011 issue of the Proceedings of the IEEE, has quickly become a key reference document for the application of PLC technology. With the emergence of smart grids utilize remote sensing, communication, control, monitoring, and analysis for more efficient power grid operation, PLC technology has the potential to play a larger role. The paper provides a scientifically precise account of the promise of PLC for the future of smart grid metering infrastructure. It also details the complex role of communications within smart grids and provide readers with accurate information on the history of and latest advances in PLC methods to address the roles for which PLC may be best suited. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Anna Scaglione, Stefano Galli, and Wang Shifang, co recipients of the 2013 IEEE Donald Chief Peak Award. Thank you, everybody. Um, let me say a few words. We are very humbled by this. Uh, this was a work of love, and it's great to receive that love back. Uh, I think it's also a little bit ironic that after reading and writing so many papers on wireless, we were honored for a paper on smart grid communications, which is communications on the biggest wired system in the world. Thank you very much.
IEEE Communications Society Chapter Awards. Chapter Achievement Awards are presented annually to an outstanding chapter from each of the four ComSoc regions, North America, Asia Pacific, Latin America, and Eastern Middle East Africa for achieving excellence in its chapter operations and for furthering the objectives of the society. From these winners, one is chosen to receive the Chapter of the Year Award for achieving the highest excellence in chapter activities and for outstanding contributions furthering the objectives of the society. Congratulations to our San Diego chapter for being selected ComSox 2013 Chapter of the Year. This is no small achievement and we applaud the accomplishments that led to their being chosen from among ComSox chapters worldwide. Next, congratulations go to our four 2013 Chapter Achievement Award winners for providing their members with high-level programs and activities. This year, the Member Relations Council selected Malaysia Chapter, Asia Pacific Region, Sweden Chapter, EMEA Region, Colombia Chapter, Latin America Region, San Diego Chapter, North America Region, the launch. That's the last uh, point of our award ceremony. As you know, organizing a conference like this, a huge conference with almost 2,000 attendees, is a huge task and <clears throat> there is a big team who uh, is looking after organizing organization of this conference for almost three years <clears throat> from the time of the conference. Uh, Although the team is big, on top of the team there is uh, two important people who are organizing the conference. One is the uh, general chair of the conference. Do we have? Yes. Branko Bialic. So I hope you're enjoying the show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just I don't want to have a or make a long speech. Just to uh, thank uh, or, or ask the organizing committee to stand up quickly so that you can see really who did all the work to prepare this great conference. So guys, could you and ladies, could you stand up quickly? So these these guys are who organized everything. So thank you very much. Thanks. And the next person who is line, who has done almost every activity related to the organization of the conference, including the launch that you had just had, is our executive chair, Gregory Drogin. As this is the last ceremony of my term as awards chair, I would like to take the opportunity to thank our Vice President of Technical Activities, Len Semini, for his wonderful support and advice. Thank you, Len. I'd also like to thank my predecessor, Vince Poor, for always being there for uh, when I had questions. Thanks to the members of the awards committee for the countless hours of work they put into selecting the best candidates and papers. Thanks to the ComSoc staff for the great efforts without which this committee couldn't work. And thanks to the ComSoc members for nominating such deserving candidates. 
It has been a distinct honor for me to serve as chair for these past two years. It has often been stressful, but it has given me the opportunity to work with a wonderful group of people. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our awards luncheon ceremony. Please feel free to link and congratulate our award recipients personally. We trust you enjoyed the event and we hope uh, you enjoyed the remainder of the conference as well as your stay in Atlanta.